What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another predicted lineup video as we look forward to the FA Cup fifth round tomorrow at the Riverside against Middlesbrough. Antonio Conte has done his press conference and the team news is in. So let's have a look at that. So um, Conte has confirmed that the injuries are unchanged from the game of the weekend. So Ben Tancor remains out, Ollie Skip remains out, Lucas Mora, who picked up a late niggle um, on the day on the training before the um, uh, Leeds game, he remains out, and Jaffa Tanganga it won't be available either. So injuries are starting to mount up a bit for Tottenham, but the, he also said he is hoping to have Ben Tancor um, back very soon and Oli Skip, so hopefully they're not too serious. But um, Lucas Moore has come out a bit of nowhere a bit, so that's a, that's a, a bad one. Yeah, and our good old uh, Slav, our ITK, uh, bumped into Rodrigo Bentancur, I think it was yesterday, in a Starbucks in Boreham Wood, and um, he said that he's hoping to be back for Everton, so um, hopefully that, that will happen. But let's get into the predicted lineup. We're going for a 3-4-3 three, three, uh, formation, and we're going strong for this one, and in goal is going to be Hugo Lloris. Yeah, um, although it's a cup competition, so there's a chance Galini could come in. But for me, I think we've got to go strong. And um, it's FA Cup, for a chance for a trophy, I think we can't take chances. So Lloris starts. Yeah, and it's also getting to a bit of the business end of the trophy as well, whereas the winner gets a place in the quarterfinals. So I think we need to go as strong as possible. So that's Lloris in goal. Right centre-back, we're going to go for Cuti Romero. And he retains his place. Obviously, Sanchez will feel unlucky not to play. But look, we do have a six-day break from now to the Everton game. So plenty of time to recover if we want to go full strength. So Romero comes in. Yeah. Stays and, in, sorry. Yeah, and alongside Romero, we're going to stick with Eric Dyer, who's been such a calming presence um, in the middle, commanding presence, shall I say. Yeah, and he's the leader at the back. And we're definitely like he needs to be that consistent defender playing every game. So Dyer definitely starts. And to make up the back three, we're going to keep the back three the same. And obviously, Ben Davis will go on the left-hand side. Yeah, people. some people say maybe Roden will get a chance, but I don't think so in this game. I, w I wouldn't want to risk playing a, a, um, Roden or, or Sanchez when we have our first choice back three. So them three start for me. All right, so that's a back three of Romero, Dyer and Davis. Right wing back, we're going to give Emerson Royale um, a chance in this game. Yeah, we're thinking Doxy will play against... Um, uh, Everton and if there's any uh, position that might get a bit of rotation to the wing backs because of the effort they exert um, running up and down that wing for 90 minutes so Emerson um, came on and had a bit of an impact against Leeds as well so we're having him start this game. Yep so that's Emerson right wing back and left wing back a player who we haven't seen in a while Sergio Regulon. Yeah being kept out of the team by Cessna at the moment and deservedly so I think Cessna's had a good run um, so we think Regulon will play this game and Session comes in uh, for the league game against Everton. So let's run through that back line with you one more time. So it's a back three of Romero, Dyer and Davis, Emerson, Royale at the right wing back, Sergio Regulon at the left wing back. And the two in the middle pretty much pick themselves uh, with Harry Winks and Pierre-Emil Hoybier. Yeah, we do. We have little choice seeing as Bentancourt and Skip are still out. They have to be the only two players available and willing to play. If one of them picks up an injury, we might be in a bit of trouble considering the league games we've got coming up. So hopefully they stay fit, but unfortunately we have to rely on them. Unless yeah. you want to play the likes of Harvey White, which I don't particularly want to mm. in this game. And even um, Alfie Devine was on the bench on the last game. But yeah, yeah you've got to assume that Winks and Hoybier will be the ones playing. And they both had really strong games against uh, Leeds as well. Mm. Um, moving on to the front line on the right side, we're going to go for Kulusevski, seeing as Moore is out. Potential chance of Bergvain, but he prefers him on the left, so we're going to go for Kulusevski. Yeah, and he's really adapted to life at Tottenham really well. I'm, I'm loving, like, I'm loving seeing Kuti, um, Kulu on the pitch, and you know, the more games he plays, the, the quicker he adapts as well. So I think it will help him having this kind of um, 90 minutes. So yeah, Kulu will start. Yeah, and on the left-hand side, uh, we're going to stick with Hyung Min Son. Um, it's a crucial game. We need our, one of our talisman. Obviously, Son is so um, um, important to the team. Um, I would consider resting him just because he he, tried, he ran so much in the last game. But look, we have a six-day break. He can afford to start Son and take him off early if need be. So Son is starting for us. Yeah, so Son on the left and up front is obviously going to be the main man, Harry Kane, playing out of his skin at the moment. Um, but yeah, not much to say about Harry Kane. Yeah, what a player. He has to play. Yeah, We have no other focal point. We have no other striker who can do what Kane does. So he has to be in the team. Is there any other striker in European football that can do what Kane does? Definitely not. 
So uh, that is the lineup we're going for. Let me run through it with you one more time. So it's Hugo Lloris in goal, a back three of Romero, Dyer, and Davis. Regulon and Emerson as the flying wing backs. Hoybier and Winks as the double pivot. Son and Kulisevsky supporting Harry Kane. Um, do you f I feel like for Sanchez and Bergvain, a bit unlucky to miss out on this one because they probably look at the cup game and maybe that's a chance for them to uh, to get back in the side. Yeah, potentially, but, unf but unfortunately, the cup is so important for us. You know, we w we really want to go as far as possible, and it's our last chance for the trophy. And I. I feel like he might want to keep the, the, the consistent team, also considering there is a long break between um, the Barra game and the Everton game. We've got a six-day break, so it's not like it's broken up um, too much. It's not asking too much of the players to play both games. So I think we should go strong. I think we should play um, as strong a sort of team as we possibly can, barring the wing-backs. And I think that's the best uh, best way forward because we need to get through. We can't avoid, We can't risk having a shock. Yeah, that's definitely true, especially as, you know, all the big teams um, in this round got kept apart. Uh, so you assume that if we do uh, go through into the quarters, most likely is we will get a big side in the quarters. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, what is your score prediction? 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Going for a bit of a tight game. I think Chris Wilder, he's got Barra playing very well. Um, they've won five on the trot. And at home, yeah, it, it, on, on at home, and it's going to be very difficult to go to the Riverside. More travelling for Tottenham as well. We've been four away games on the trot, but um, I think our superior quality should just about get us through this game. So two one. Yeah, I mean they do have a bit of a similar uh, form to us. Um, very Jacklin Hyde sees the, the away their away uh, form doesn't look good, but they're really strong at home. Uh, but obviously we're going up to the Riverside, so I expect a very tough game. Uh, but I'm going to go two 0 to Spurs uh, with Kane uh, getting both of the goals. Uh, I want to know your score predictions in the comment section below, and let us know what you think of our predicted lineup and who you think will start. Put that in the comment section below. See you all tomorrow for the watch long, the pre-match pump up with David Harris, followed by the watch long with me, myself, my brother and Brian Daigle. And then obviously the post-match fan show as well. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Look forward to tomorrow. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on you Spurs. Spurs.